Welcome to Bloom Yoga with Terry Hooker. Today's class is a restorative sequence. We'll, we'll do mostly seated poses and on the mat poses. So let's get started in a seated comfortable position and come to the breath. You can use a bolster or a block here to help settle in. And once we find a place that's really comfortable, you can close the eyes, center on the breath, and then just melt into your seat. So you can wiggle down into your seat or simply let the shoulders relax down. Let everything uh, from the outside world just fall away. Just arriving here for your practice. Take a few breaths. When you're ready to start moving here, we'll lift the chin, we'll lift the sternum, and we'll inhale all the way up, comfortable distance, and then releasing down with an exhale. Kind of like a seated cat-cow, we can flow, extending and flexing the spine and neck. Take a few rounds of breathing in and out. And now back to center, we'll start moving in a circular direction, letting the whole spine, shoulders, neck and head flow open and connect. Just find what feels good. And of course you can go faster or slower, always working at the uh, pace that works for you. Remember to reverse directions as well. Especially as we get started with yoga here today, remember the breath, coming back and noticing the breath over and over again. You can roll the shoulders, you can bring the ear down to the shoulder on either side, stretching out through the neck and head. Just find what feels really good and relaxing in this seated position. All right, now back to center. We'll bring the right hand down to the mat. You can gently lean to the right. Left hand up alongside the ear for getting into the side body. Feel free to play around. Make some circles with the upper arm. Breathe. Just melt into the side body opening. Make it work for you. Find what feels good. Back to center and switch sides. Steady, connected breath keeps the mind focused inward, keeps the mind from wandering, and is really enjoyable to work with the breath. All right, so we'll back to center now. We'll come off of our seated position, come into Sukhasana, which is a cross-legged shape, Indian-style seating. Rock the sit bones back, and then bring the hands forward and fold into the lap. This is one of my favorite poses called square pose in the yin tradition and uh, really great for the hips spine lower back if you're meditating have a meditation practice really great for opening the hips and knees and feet for uh, uh, that sitting for a long time of course you can always meditate in other positions but this one's really great for opening the hips and knees Come back to the breath 
and then breathe. Just enjoy the journey inward. Every breath connects to the next. Over and over again, we draw our attention back to the breath. Gently releasing, we'll start to walk the hands back in. Switching sides now, so whichever leg was in front before, we'll bring it around to the other side, and then same thing, walk the sit bones back an inch or two, and then walk the hands forward, come down onto the forearms perhaps. You can even rest your forehead on a block, down to the mat even. Just find what feels good. Find what works for you. And come back to the breath, settle in, let go. Let that restorative process work. By releasing and relaxing, we get into the parasympathetic nervous system. You can start to feel the change perhaps already, the reduction in heart rate, blood pressure, And gently back up, we'll be twisting now. So right arm coming across to the left knee and left hand behind the back for some support. Twist and release. We'll come back to center and switch sides. Left hand across. Twist and breathe. We inhale, we elongate. Exhaling, release and back to center. Uncross the legs here. We're gonna take the bolster behind the back now for Supta Baddha Konasana. You can use the blocks for support. We draw the soles of the feet together and then blocks to support under the knees. You can also use a pillow or a rolled blanket. And then we lie back Open the arms out to the side like a big, relaxing, open-hearted gesture. Wiggle into the bolster. You can roll your head left and right for comfort. Few big breaths to settle in. And once again, we just let go into the restorative bliss. Each breath feeling really good. Arms overhead for deepening in the heart opening aspect of the pose. You can extend the arms or grab one wrist with the opposite hand and give a little pull. Gently release the arms down, release the blocks. We'll roll off the bolster to the right side. And coming back down onto the mat. So let's remove the bolster and come back down onto the mat. Draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug, rock side to side. and release the feet down to the mat. Our next pose is a gentle twist. So the feet come down to the mat, just drawn in near the hips, and then we release the knees down to the right. Left arm rolls open, palm facing the ceiling. And then melting into the twist. If you want the support, a little more support, you can place the blanket or a block between the knees or a blanket under the left arm, anything to make the twist more comfortable. And 
we'll make our way back to center, switching sides now. Knees down to the left and twisting the opposite way. The breath flowing throughout, harmonizing mind and body experience. So bring your attention back to the breath over and over and enjoy the journey. Gently releasing back to center. Drawing the left knee in to the chest and extending the right leg. So you can roll the ankle, draw the knee in to the center line or out to the side. Next, we'll take a happy baby pose on the left side only, and the right hand here can press on to the right thigh. So lie back and use a little bit of traction in the hand here, pulling the foot down, knee drawing down towards the mat. Let's release happy baby and interlace the fingers behind the left thigh. Give yourself a little hamstring work drawing the toes in towards the shin for deepening or using the quad to engage the leg and straighten the leg. Let's release down, walk the right foot in and then cross the left ankle over the right thigh and then we'll interlace the fingers in front of the right knee for thread the needle and lie back and enjoy the hip opener on the left side. Try and stay relaxed through the head, neck, and shoulders. Of course, a little traction through the hands drawing in to deepen in the stretch. Okay, release down. You can shake it out and then we'll switch sides. So right knee draws in, extend the left leg. Play with the hip here, you can pull it in straight on up towards the right shoulder. And then we'll continue on with the half happy baby shape. So when you're ready for it, Take the right hand to the sole of the foot. And draw the leg down towards the mat. I have a little injury in my right foot, so I can't quite do it the uh, normal way. Usually we would grab on the outside edge of the foot and keep it in tight to the side body with the arm to the outside. Okay, now we'll move on to the straight leg, right leg extending up to the sky, interlace the fingers behind the knee and stretch out through the hamstrings. Find what feels good, make it work for you, whether we really bear into it and stretch 
really firmly or just have a relaxed approach really uh, serving what uh, feels right for you thread the needle now so we release the foot and then walk the left leg in and cross the right ankle over the left thigh and interlace on the left side when we're done there release and drop both knees into the chest rock it out to release any tension rolling to the right side and coming upright on the mat just facing forward here we're going to be on hands and knees and dropping into a heart opener pose where we come down onto forearms and release the hips back to the heels. If you need to have any um, tension along the spine, you can always um, take some time here on all fours to move left and right. And when you're ready, drop into the shoulders. Anahatasana, this pose is called the heart opener. And to deepen, you can use a bolster under the elbows and work with relaxing through the whole back upper back mid back lower back everything relaxing down to the mat steady breath And we'll start to release. So shift the weight forward, come back onto all fours. Work a little bit more with cat cow here, a forward back motion where we lift the chin, inhale, and then exhaling round and soften. And take a few rounds where we uh, continue moving with the breath, letting the breath lead the movement. Cat cow. Returning back to center, we'll extend the left leg, stay on all fours, pull the shoulders down the back, and engage the core. You can also extend or deepen by bringing the right hand forward, and as we do this, keep the right shoulder grounded down the back, so we're not drawing forward and pulling the right shoulder up around the right ear. Hold steady and then release. We'll switch sides. Right leg extending and engage the shin. Draw the toes down to the mat. Extend the left arm and breathe. and release. Curl the toes under and beginning to work towards pigeon here. Right leg draws forward and you can place the right shin down on the mat. Diagonal. You can use a bolster under the right hip and releasing forward onto the forearms perhaps or staying upright whatever feels good you can also use another bolster or pillow under the forearms for comfort or block under the forehead find what feels good and relax come back to the breath and release
Here we'll start to come out of our pigeon pose, walking back up onto hands, curling under the back toes, lifting the back knee, and we'll, re we'll release back to downward facing dog. Take your time as we do this. make our way over to the left side here so you can shift your bolster across draw the left leg forward you can transition through downward facing dog or stay on the knees and draw the left leg forward for pigeon pose on the left side taking our time and melting into the pose find what makes it feel right for you and enjoyable relaxing we want to make sure that we can breathe with ease as we come into the pose. And once again, beginning our transition, come back to hands and knees, release the left leg back, Draw the bolster between the legs and then rest in child's pose. Let the hips sink back towards the heels and we turn the cheek to one side or the other and relax in child's pose. Turning the head to the other side, finding balance in the neck. We'll take a few more breaths here. When you're ready, we'll begin our transition, walking the hands back in, setting the bolster aside. Take a few rounds of cat-cow. Lifting the chin with an inhale, and then exhaling, draw the chin to chest and let the spine round. So if we stay with the breath throughout the entire practice, it can start to feel really good just to simply uh, be here now and breathe and enjoy every moment that passes. release down into a seated position. We'll draw the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana or bound angle pose. You can wrap the hands or fingers around the toes and then fold forward. Just let the knees open up towards the side. Great pose for opening the hips, inner thighs, and also releasing more up the spine and into the neck and head. We'll hold here for about 10 breaths, continuing our peaceful journey on the restorative yoga path. Let's release now. We come up, draw the knees together. Shift forward if you're um, sitting too far back on the mat. We're going to bring the bolster back um, behind you. Draw it in perpendicular to your body. It's a fantastic 
uh, spine opener, back bender, really natural um, um, shape that we can have in the back here by letting go over the bolster. If it's too much strain on the back here, find a thinner object like a little blanket roll or something that's more comfortable. Breathe into the chest area in the back here. So if you feel a lot of tension around the back and spine, back body, breathe into it. Try and release that tension. Enjoy. And we'll walk the feet in really slowly here. For coming off the pose, uh, off the bolster, let's lift the hips a few times really gently. Just lifting the frontal ribs in towards the lower um, ribs, the so frontal hip points towards the lower ribs. Take the rounding out of the spine. This helps to neutralize um, the spine before we lift all the way up and pull the bolster out. So when you're ready, we'll press into the feet, pull the bolster out, and then slowly lower down back onto the mat. Knees into the chest again. Little counteraction. Finding balance in the spine. Rock side to side. Happy baby again or a bound Baddha Konasana with the soles of the feet together. Anything that feels good here on the back. And settling into Savasana. So we extend the legs, let the toes fall out to the sides, open the arms to the sides and relax and release. Thank you for joining me here with Bloom Yoga. More to come. And please uh, subscribe and share with your friends. Have a wonderful day.